YouTube, my name is Chris Lopresti and I'm the Chief Pilot at Terrestrial Imaging. Today we're going to talk about a common scenario that happens after the Q500 4K crashes and contacts the ground. So more often than not, the gimbal bushings will separate and the camera will detach. Now I'm not going to actually do that here because I don't want to break my machine. But what happens is after this camera separates, and many of you may know this, these gimbal bushings are the only thing that are holding the top plate and the bottom plate of our gimbal and our camera to the aircraft. And so what happens is the bottom plate detaches because the bushings separate and there's three wires that, sep that connect the top plate to the bottom plate to the camera that come out and detach themselves from the circuit board. It's a pretty horrible looking thing but it's a pretty simple fix. So the first thought you might have is how do I solder those wires back together? The truth is you don't. Unique has engineered and designed into the Q500 a backup plan. Apparently this must hap have happened enough in the past for them to try to solve the problem without having have you ship this machine back to them. So when you opened your Q500 4K for the first time you saw this little accessory pack. And inside this accessory pack we had a lot of things. A motor clamp, we had a neck strap, we had a, an SD card, a lens cover, a key, a USB cable for programming, uh, new firmware, and a bunch of other things. But there was a little tiny wire in there that you may have wondered, what the heck is this wire even for? So this wire, which can be bought separately, is a gimbal connector. And the purpose of this is that in the event that you detach the bottom plate from the top plate on your gimbal camera, you have a way to basically jump jumper wire the actual camera back to the body of the plane and put it back together so that it works. So what happens is, I'll walk you through the scenario. So you fly your Q500, you have an accident, you hit a tree, it falls to the ground, and the gimbal separates. And so the little rubber bushings that hold the gimbal together kind of come out and the bottom plate separates from the top plate and those three wires come out. And when those three wires come out, you look at it and you say, where did those wires come from in the first place? And it's hard to figure out where they come from. You'd have to take it apart and solder those wires back on. But the truth is, you don't need to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of clip those wires and secure them so that they don't touch each other or make contact with each other. And then you're simply going to take that little wire, it's, it's, a, it's a wire that goes from the belly of the Q500 to the gimbal. And so you're going to take that wire and you're going to plug it into the belly of the aircraft, which I have here. And then you're going to plug that the other side of the wire, which is the little white connector, into the side of the um, gimbal. And in doing so, it'll bypass those three wires that most likely broke after your crash. Now, the downside to that is whenever you take this camera off the, four, the Q500 4K, you'll also have to unplug this little wire from the bottom and you'll have this hanging. So now, if you want to put this onto your steady grip, you'll have to reverse the process. You'll have to mount this on the steady grip and then plug this into the bottom of the steady grip. And that's it. Problem is solved. And so really what we're saying here is inside this gimbal there are three wires that connect from the top plate to the bo bottom plate. And then they connect to the aircraft through these three little contact points that I'm sure you can't see very well from here but you'll know what I'm talking about when you take off your camera. And when those three contact points are connected to the bottom of the, the camera after you, to the, the quadcopter after you slide it in, it'll make contact with the electronics inside the quadcopter. So, to repeat, if those wires are broken, then these contact points won't work anymore. And your only alternative is, is to plug this jumper wire in to the side of the gimbal and then into the belly of the aircraft or into the belly of the ST or, or the steady grip and voila you're back in business and so that's the solution after you crash if you see that your top plate and bottom plate of your gimbal have separated and there's three wires sticking out 
There's no need to get to get all worked up. Simply snip those wires or tuck them in there carefully. Make sure those wires don't contact anything else. And then go into your accessory kit. Fish out this little tiny gimbal wire. Plug it into the side of your gimbal. Slide the camera back onto the aircraft as I'm doing here. Plug the wire into the belly of the aircraft and that's it. You should be back in, in the air in a matter of minutes. So that's it. Now, you may need, if you don't have that wire, you may need to purchase that wire and or you may need to purchase additional gimbal bushings. So, we sell all of these parts at www.terrestrialimaging.com. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Thank you.